Hey guys, um, it's been a couple months that I uh, haven't touched bases because uh, uh, for the past couple months it's been pretty hectic. If you can follow the last videos that uh, it was um, in the beginning of the February I had a serious fall. I mean like trip and fall on the ground. It was really fucked up and as you can see probably from the last video. My face is completely smashed up and I lost my front teeth. I lost my clothes too. I must have um, lost my phone, lost my keys, lost my my jacket, and it broke two ribs too. So um, it took quite a while to uh, to um, heal and all that stuff, convalesce. And so so far it's uh, all right. And then things that uh, still got these bruises on me and still. Take some time to heal, things like that. Um, all right, so that's just my private life, and that uh, I just hope that you guys um, are still hanging there. Is so I'm still kicking and screaming. Obviously, and there's so many other shit that are going on. So I ain't gonna go to the details. Um, yeah, just just to um, touch the basis. Uh, the thing is, um, first of all, it, it has nothing to do with uh, today's topic. Uh, just a uh, by the way thing, um, just an aside. Uh, there was this just dumbass, stupid moron <laughs> that from mainland China was uh, continued um, maintain a correspondence with me, and it's a dude. And and when he was telling me about, um, hey, do you know this whole fat shit about uh, this the whole shit called the PUA, and at first glance, I didn't really get him because he's from mainland China. He's from Chengdu, Sichuan province. And, and when he's spelled P-U-A, I thought it was like a pinging. I thought it was a Chinese. And, and then he was like, the P-U-A was really uh, the fad. And you, you, you got to put up with some shit. And now all of a sudden I got it. Oh, it was actually a fucking English acronym. P-U-M, pickup artist. I'm like, what the fuck are you into that shit? And he's like, yeah, the PUA is really the hot shit, dig and shit. I'm like, go fuck yourself. <laughs> I, 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 I know PUA is a whole bunch of fucking bullshit and they're just to make money and stuff. And, and only losers and, and, and people with no self-confidence are just going to do that because the, the whole fucking fad is, is kind of bullshit. So... There's no POA, so I I just all the POA gurus are just out there just make money off of your fucking losers. That's uh, the the shit is that. Uh, because when when you get girls, you just get girls, and just girls will come to you if you're you. Uh, what 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 I, because lately I was putting up a lot of uh, stuff about my dad, uh, when he was in the nineteen seventies in nineteen seventies, and uh, that was in the heights of cultural revolution when he was in the Anhui province in the northern part of Anhui province and, and there's a whole bunch of stuff and late, lately I've been putting a lot of uh, his pictures which is very rare because 1970 in that place is, there's no cameras and there's very rare pictures that exist that you can seriously capture where it was and uh, what I'm trying to say is that uh, a man has to have three major characteristics and that's where it is it's just um being strong being uh having a tremendous amount of courage that's a sign of uh, uh self-confidence obviously and be smart that's uh that, that that's where it was and and obviously uh, if you watch my video good enough then you understand that uh, insomnia is always the thing and and the girl is always uh, being the sleeping beauty have their beauty sleep but on the other hand just I can't sleep I, I mean I, I've been just having like two hours sleep for every 48 hours and shit but seriously I, I cannot sleep so that that was the problem so if you cannot sleep and uh, obviously your brain is just super wiring up and, and just sound all fucking gung-ho modal like a fucking heart charger so I was just thinking about which leads to today's topic is about the uh, uh, balancing out uh, global geopolitic military powers, namely, um, because uh, there are a whole bunch of PRC um, nationalists, ultra lefts, leftists, um, People's Republic in China. So, so we're talking about the uh, um, the rise 
of PRC and the, along with the military powers. And because then, um, on the first stage is that China only has this uh, so-called the, the, the uh, aircraft carrier called Liaoning aircraft carrier, but the ship is still on the testing stage. That's only one, and they're on the part of uh, getting number two. But if you read the eastern coastline of China, you you, you see they have uh, argument with the uh, what they call it's the Diaoyu Island in, in Japanese is Senkaku Islands. And that's one thing, but and down to the uh, South China Seas and with, with, with all that islands and they're building up. So China is trying to rise up as a naval power. So we're going to look into the global perspective because this is part of the Pacific. And obviously they're, they're on the other, on the other end of the, on the other side of the globe is the Atlantic. Um, so U.S. Uh, overall speaking, let's say U.S. has, um, 19 in uh in service active uh aircraft carrier being the latest it was the uh with Gerald Ford aircraft carrier which is going to be in total service in 2020 uh, but right now we we understand it's the uh, of course it's the nuclear reactor um aircraft carrier it's gonna go 30 knots at top speed 30 knots can you believe 30 knots is um um 35 mph that's uh mile per hour 35 mile per hour if you're driving down with a sedan on your local road you can only go 25 you you go go on to the uh um freeway then you can speed it up imagine a fucking uh, like a hundred thousand ton of uh, aircraft carrier going thirty five mph. That's pretty fucking amazing. And carrying um eighty five um not counting, I'm saying uh eighty five uh, um fighter jets and, and missiles and and four thousand five hundred personnel on board and shit. It's just uh behemoth. That was just. <laughs> Really amazing. The shit about um, overall military strength is that, and we're talking about MIRV uh, with the ICBM. MIRV, that's multiple independently targetable reentry vehicle. Uh, that's uh, on a warhead, which is a payload of uh, nuclear warheads uh, on the ICBM, that intercontinental ballistic missiles. So, uh, on the, all the arsenals and all the missile silos all around the world, and the United States is the empire that humanity has ever seen in its uh, the whole history of it. So if you say we go in toe to toe back in the cold days, I mean cold wars then we, when they talk about uh, going toe to toe with the Ruskies, um, the the shit is that. Um, now PRC going to replace the the USSR, the Soviet Union. Uh, obviously, I don't think that's um, the, is that really on, on a balance? Uh, um, now that we have the tariff wars about taxes and, and import export shit, and and the thing is that if you combine all this th shit together, are are, are they going to like pull the pull some shit, or are they just uh, bluffing? And what my take is that uh, the the whole commie bullshit is just they're pulling the bl bluffing, but what we know is that uh, Xi Jinping, as the president of China and, and also the chairman of the commie party, and so obviously they're gonna roll, and they did launch uh, anti satellite uh, missiles, so. They did a test. They they destroy one of their own satellites. Uh, but of course, every all major power can have the capability to do that. I mean, including, say, UK, Germany, France, and Israel, even Saudi Arabia, even. And on the other hand, if you counting into the the petrol, the the oil, and which is really, it's not gonna combine all together. Uh, it's not gonna work and. This is why the commie is um, all for to go toe-to-toe -to -toe 
going westward in, into the Central Asia, and they call it, uh, which is very awkward, fucked up name called E E S I T A I. My always, I was thinking about something with the, t- with the tampons, the women's pad or something with what they mean E S I T A I. Just uh, that that that's uh like one Silk Road and shit like that because they they weren't connected in East Asia with all the uh, uh all the Stan uh, like Takastan uh, Kazakhstan Takastan and uh, all, all the Stan and all the way because then there's uh natural gas and 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 get, uh petroleum uh, out there so but who who's gonna uh really pumping shit out because the United States had the Middle East and right now Middle East is rich with the black gold. That's oil. So oil, which is the pumping the engine of um, how all military works. But overall speaking, um, if you count, say Japan, South Korea, and Taiwan and Philippines, the the whole eastern coast of China was blocked with the Pacific uh, fleet, and and how how the how the PRC gonna gonna stand off toe to toe with USA and uh, with with all missile silos and, and with uh SAC the SAC that's uh, Second Artillery Court which is the like the crown jewel of Chinese um military and th- that's everyone knows what I mean everyone knows is that people within the milieu knows uh, SAC is the military. Uh, nuclear wing of uh, of the Chinese military, but how are they gonna pull off the shit? And with North Korea, which is really the powder keg, uh, with in East Asia, um, it it's just you counting on the uh what I said about MIRV, um, uh, how many do they have? And my my uh ballpark estimation is that U.S. has 10 times more than China and on the other hand let's compare population wise population is that U.S. has um, um, 300 million and China has four times of that population let's talk about um, average uh, crop yield as the production food productions and U.S. has on pretty much three sides of uh, uh on the west coast it's the pacific east coast is the atlantic and on the south uh, all the way to mississippi and florida it's the um, bahamas and, and the whole region because the u.s has fertile soil that can feed much much more people and then on the uh, on the other hand let's see china only has the east coast and uh um and they're gonna have to hold on to one point three billion of uh, of um, uh, of its population. That um, what we um, estimate that that uh, how how are we gonna how 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 are we gonna um, exactly know what's going on? And um, Taiwan is an issue, but Taiwan has uh, 23, 23 million people. Um and it has its own defense and China, uh, PRC has no friends. That's the major problem. And how how are we gonna really start a war, even on regional, uh, aspects? Uh, oh, sorry, I got a phone coming in. I gotta shut it. <laughs>